Today is not just about an ancient story that we dust off and retell once a year. It's the defining story of humanity. It's our story. The instant mankind sins, God counters with hope. Hope will be born as a man and his name is Jesus, God in the flesh. 700 years before he would step into our darkness, the prophet Isaiah began telling us how his story, how our story would unfold. He was despised and rejected, a man of sorrows, well acquainted with our grief and our pain. We turned our backs on him. We did not appreciate his incomparable worth, yet it was our weakness he carried. It was our sorrow, our pain that weighed him down. God in the flesh, come to our rescue. And instead of a rightful crown that he deserves, we crown him with thorns. The thorns born from our curse pressed mercilessly into his brow the weight of our iniquity, the curse of our sin, placed upon the head, the shoulders, the life of Jesus. Do you hear what the prophet is saying? Don't you see it? He was pierced for our rebellion. He was crushed for our sins. He took our punishment so we could have peace, so we could be made whole. By his stripes, we are healed. The curse that weighed upon him carried a heavy punishment, and that punishment would tear him open. His body pierced, beaten, bruised, broken. And for what? My friend, the whip would make a way for you and I to be made whole. The whip becomes the instrument of our healing. But he was unjustly condemned, led away to die. And did anyone even care? Did anyone realize what was happening? He died without a thought for his own welfare, beaten bloody for the sins of his own people to whom the stroke was due. You see, the price wasn't truly paid until his precious blood was poured out on the cross, until his life was made an offering, completely unto death until those powerful words were spoken by him who knew no sin. It is finished. But this was God's good plan. For when his life is made an offering for our sins, he will produce hope, he will produce life, he would make a way for you and I to stand tall, righteous before God. He looked death in the face for you and I and didn't even flinch. Jesus overcame. He is our hope. He is our light and life. My friend, his story is our story. And for 2,000 years since he rose, he has raised countless more from death to life, from darkness to light. How do you not respond to that? How can you not rise up and worship this kind of love? This kind of offering demands our response, our life, our all. God has given us hope. Come on and praise the King of Kings. Come on and praise the Lamb of God. All Hail King.